Hello. In lesson four, we will start talking about separation processes. This is the first part of the separation processes. Remember, we have talked about having four different types of processes in uh, petroleum refining. Uh, separation is, of course, uh, the first process. Now, the separation uh, is, is very critical. The distillation process, which separates the crude oil with respect to the boiling point uh, of the constituent compounds, is really the gateway to the refinery. There, we separate the crude oils into different fractions that are processed in downstream units until they end up as the desirable product that leave uh, the refinery. Now, in laboratories, we could have different distillation methods to characterize the crude oil so we can inform the industrial or commercial distillation process. There are three different uh, distillation methods and we will go through them uh, in this lesson to see how different they are and what specific applications would each of these uh, different uh, distillation methods, laboratory methods, have uh, in, in terms of applying to the refinery processes. Now, in, in this lesson, we will also define the distillation terms. What do we mean by cut points? What do we mean by yield? And so forth, so that we can have a more educated uh, discussion on the distillation process. We will also uh, introduce the vacuum distillation and, and talk about why one would need vacuum uh, for a distillation of the residue from the atmospheric uh, crude tower. Distillation is perhaps the, uh, the energy gosler of uh, the refinery. It consumes the largest fraction of energy in a given refinery. That's why the efficiency of distillation is very uh, important for the overall efficiency of a refinery. 